billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. The situation that is just weird. I'm gonna use the shitter. Happy day, I'm good. <laughs> and my guy friend just sent me a text saying, please come over. It kind of felt urgent that he would say that to me and usually I would come over, but he's been weird lately. I'm kind of scared of him, but I'm also worried. So we're gonna go to his house anyway and see what's going on. You home? Nick? Nick! Put some clothes on, Nick! What's wrong with you? Nick, why aren't you wearing clothes? You don't have to do what you're doing, Nick. Mm, okay, he's scaring me. I'm gonna sit on the couch. You sit on the couch, and because of the couch's size, Nick sits as well. But pretty far away from you, as he doesn't really like to get close to strangers. I'm a stranger to you now, Nick? I'm gonna start a conversation with you. You start a conversation with Nick, the topic being between you two. Nick feels a variety of emotions, depending on the particular topic of conversation. Okay. Nick, you're not really giving me anything. Why would you invite me over? Why are you just following me around? Okay, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna go over here. What is he doing? Nick, you don't go out anymore. Have you contacted your mom in weeks like she's worried about you? Why'd you call me? Okay, 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 okay. I know, I care about you. I care about you. This is the kitchen. I don't know how to cook, so it just sits here. Well, why don't you learn, Nick? I mean, you have a microwave. Let's turn on the microwave. You turn it on, but there's nothing inside it, so it runs until it doesn't. Nick looks at you, wondering what you're doing, slightly worried that it might be bad to run a microwave with nothing in it. You just turn it on! That's how you use a microwave! You stop the microwave from running. Nick feels slightly relieved, but he wonders why you started it in the first place. He's slightly interested in what you're doing. I'm trying to teach you how to cook, Nick. What's in your fridge, Nick? You open the fridge. Nick looks at you. He thinks it's a little rude to look through his fridge without asking first, but he doesn't say anything. I know it's rude to look through, Nick, but look! There's nothing in here. What are you doing with your life? I'm here to show you that you can't- Is there anything in your freezer? Pizza pops, anything. You have nothing, Nick. Let's do something else. Let's- let's look at this nice table. Okay, well since Nick is weirding me out, I'm gonna get under the table. You crawl under the table. Nick thinks this is kind of funny, but also kind of weird. He stands and then looks under the table at you and asks what you're doing. You reply, you don't reply and stand under the table, or you get out from under the table. I'm gonna reply. You reply in a tone that you feel appropriate to the situation. Based on your tone, Nick feels happy, sad, uncomfortable, etc. Can you make a decision, Nick? Nick, you haven't been wearing your Invisalign. Why do your feet look like duck feet, Nick? Like, what are you doing? Okay, what's in here? You open the drawer. Nick thinks it's pretty rude to go through someone else's stuff. Okay, sorry, Nick. I'm just wondering why your house is empty. Why'd you invite me over then? Hey, come on, let's surf the web. How old is this thing? Oh, Nick. Have you been watching this all day, Nick? That's not your girlfriend, Nick. And it's stock footage, Nick. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm sorry I went on your computer. It, I just pressed on and that, that was there. I didn't look through anything. Okay. I swear this guy's not- he's not who he used to be. This is the dead where we all watch TV. Who's we, Nick? Nobody's here. It's really empty. Do you want to watch some TV? This is nice- look, a family, Nick. You could have had a family too. It's just repeating in loops, Nick. Do you even have cable? Let's play a movie. You try to play a movie, but there are no tapes. Nick, where are the tapes? You ask Nick where the tapes are. He says he doesn't have any, which he realizes is kind of weird. He wonders himself why he doesn't have any. Is he gonna fucking kill me? Okay, well, I'm not gonna sit down. What's the point of sitting down when you don't have any movies? It's just stock footage. What's down here, Nick? Oh, it's a bathroom. This is the bathroom. I'll give you some privacy. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm thinking about texting my mom and being like, can you pick me up? Because the situation, like, it's just weird. I'm gonna use the shitter. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it again. Okay. I'm gonna sit on the lid and just contemplate my life. I'm gonna think about something. You sit on the lid and think about something. Only you knows what you're thinking about. Thinking about the guy beyond this door and what he's gonna do to me if push comes to shove. I'm gonna turn on the sink and wash my ass because there's no toilet paper. I'm gonna wash your body part. Let's go. You wash your body part. Maybe you feel clean. Maybe you don't. Only you really know. Nick, why is your house so existential? Okay, he's not out there. He gave me the privacy I needed. Where is he? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Okay, I'm- I didn't mean to imply that you're scary, I- you're a totally normal guy. Hey Nick, wanna go see what's upstairs? Will you show me? Give me a tour? I'll go first. Oh my goodness. 
This is what happens when you're too nice and you care about your friends. Nick thinks it's pretty rude that you go through his door. Well, I'm sorry, Nick. There's nothing in there. Your imaginary condom stash isn't there, Nick. It's just a bed. Did you even make the bed? Okay, I'm not gonna sit on the bed or lie on the bed. I'm gonna make no decision. You make no formal choice. Whatever you do at this moment is up to you. Well, I'm definitely not gonna get jiggy with Nick. Why did you invite me here? If I've ever felt vulnerable, right now is definitely the time. Okay, another bathroom. Oh, you have a tub in here. Why is the music so unsettling? Another bathroom. Wow, three bathrooms. <sighs> Had to hold myself back from screaming. Look at his shadow. Oh, bunk beds. It's kind of a big home for one guy. Hey, three bathrooms. What's on the TV in here? He seems enthralled with this image. Do you like women having fun, Nick? You used to have fun with your girlfriend, Nick. That's creepy. Oh my god, he loves it. Okay, it's not. You keep looking at that screen, Nick. I'm worried about you, that's why I'm here. Oh, shut it. Oh, fuck. You're quick, huh? Nick, your butt is lumpy. You used to be the fittest guy I know. You used to ride your bike to work, and now you don't even have a job. This is the guest room. It looks different now. It used to be our toy room. Our? Were you married and you didn't even tell me? Is that why you've been ignoring me? And you and your spouse had a toy room? Where's the kids? Did you have kids? I feel like I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> Nick! I don't want to dance with you, Nick. Nick, just dance over there. Nick, I don't want to dance with you. You're crazy! You're out of your mind! Stop! Okay, I'm turning- this is- no. Still got the dance shakes. Look, a couple! Don't look at me like that, I'll turn it off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Nick, I think we've had fun here today, but I think I'm gonna go. I don't understand why you said please come. And you're not doing anything, like, I thought it was a warning sign, like I thought you were gonna kill yourself, Nick. See you later, okay? I'll see you- See you on the flippity flop, nice dance moves. Have a good day. And so I'm just gonna close this door. Oh shit. I'm just gonna... No, make no decision. Okay, I'm just gonna close this door, Nick. See you later, okay? Okay, I... I came because I'm worried. But you can only come so far. I'm leaving. I'm calling the police, to be honest. Nick is sad to see you go, and he hopes you'll come back again. Please send an email to Nick. To tell him what you did today. I'm okay, thank you. I did what I could, I tried to be a good friend. He wasn't really giving me any answers. Our conversation was very generic, his house was very barren. What would you do if you went to your friend's house? You were kind of worried about them, they gave you this text that was like, please come over. And you show up and they're naked and all they do is that. I don't really know what the necessary step would be to take at that point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you did, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe and give that gloomy subscribe button. A bit of a pick me up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.